Garrett, I got to tell you, and this this might make you feel uncomfortable. I love watching you pitch. I, I hate not working the game on yes if I know you're pitching, and I, I just I, I just think it's a clinic on pitching. Do you enjoy pitching as much as I enjoy watching you pitch? Uh, thank you very much. I, it always um, it always feels good to hear compliments like that. Um, so I appreciate it, and uh, I, I hopefully I do. I, I enjoy it quite a bit, um, and uh, especially you know on a night like last night is about 68, 67 degrees, uh, nice temperature, Yankee Stadium, clear sky. It uh, doesn't get much better than that. I'll tell you that. Now, presumably, Garrett, you you grew up watching, you know, these studs, guys who went up there and, and, and pitched eight, nine innings, uh, threw 100 pitches or more, and those are the guys you emulated. And just yesterday, our my co-host and good friend Don LaGreco sitting right here, went he went off. He lost his mind because uh, Jacob deGrom was pulled after 77 pitches on his first outing of the year. Do you get uh, frustrated as a fan of the game seeing pitchers not having to do sort of the same thing that you grew up watching? What's your feeling on the sort of innings limits that we're seeing now? Hmm. Well, I mean, to be honest, it's all in the name of good health. So, uh, you know, I um, I don't think there's I don't think there's quite a lot of like malicious intent or any certainly any intent to to tick off your coworker. Um, but I think that um, the game is different uh, as opposed to 10 years ago. Certainly the pitchers that I grew up idolizing. Um, but at the same time, you know, uh, I think every player should, you know, try to strive to be the best that they possibly can and, and continue to push themselves. And um, so, you know, will we see the 142 pitch no hitter from Edwin Jackson probably in the next 20 years? We, we probably won't see a pitch count like that or, or, um, or anything close. But, um, you know, I think there are other aspects of pitching that, bring me equal amount of joy. I think, you know, specifically you mentioned DeGrom. I mean, and we talk about Maddox's command. Well, he had like a, you know, he had a pretty wide plate and, and maybe a little bit of a batter's box to work with. What we're working with is, is quite a bit tighter. And, and you know, Jacob can fire, you know, 100 odd some 100 odd pitches and and live within five or six inches the entire night i've seen him do it um so i'd love to see him throw 140 of those but i'll still take the i'll still take the 100 and i'll take the 77 i guess in april if it, if it means he's going to still pitch in september now one thing that i've noticed from you in the first two games garrett is you've really employed the change up a lot was that a game plan of yours during the offseason coming into the season, or did you just feel, you know what, I've got a really good feel on this pitch. I'm going to throw it more. Yeah, I spoke a little bit about that last night. I think Andy asked me a question in the Zoom room. And I had had games where it had been really productive for whatever reason in the past. And um, I think as I started to learn what my strengths more, were more, I, I – you know, I just, it wasn't always a logical choice. And, and over the course maybe of the last year or so and pandemic based on whatnot, you know, having to, I mean, I'm getting paid to deliver here. So, you know, we're, we're not out there in, in 60 games really trying to, really trying to mess around. And if we need to, you know, throw a pitch in the zone that, you know, somebody's not expecting that may give us a better opportunity to have success on that pitch than, you know, pitching predictably. And I thought that um, I learned some things uh, from having to force that, uh, you know, into the equation. And, um, you know, I just has progressed through spring, um, you know, quality-wise, execution-wise, and then opportunities present itself, and, and I think we're always just trying to evolve and, and be forward-thinking. So um, that was that – was, uh, that's kind of the reason for the incorporation of it, and, and I expect it to I, – I mean, I expect it to just continue to evolve as the season goes along. The one thing you haven't had a chance to do – is pitch at Yankee Stadium with 50,000 people rooting for you. Have you thought about what that's going to be like when this pandemic's over? Uh, I, I have, and um, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs>
<laughs> now, because you've had it, you had him rooting against you, not have him rooting for you. That's gonna be a much better yeah, experience. There's, there's a silver, there's a silver lining in, in rooting against it. Maybe we all don't think that way, but you know, I, I, uh, I expected a hostile environment when I stepped out of the dugout, and and I certainly wasn't disappointed. So, we're talking with Garrett Cole, Yankee ace, here on the Michael K show. Um, I've been around this team for 35 years, Garrett, and seen free agents come and go. And it seems like you have really embraced your responsibility as the ace of this staff. You have not shied away from it. You seem like you enjoy the back and forth with the media and you, you want to talk pitching and you break it down for people. Um, do you feel that that is your responsibility because you're such a high profile player on the Yankees? Well, I mean, I guess I never, I guess I never really thought of, I, Maybe that question is more like um, I, I've i always thought it has been my responsibility since the beginning, and maybe it's just getting more attention now. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I really haven't quite, you know, changed. So, and if somebody, you know, I, I would, I love, I love talking about it and I love sharing. And, and so if any, and I'm a curious person, so I understand if somebody, you know, wants to ask, questions because they're curious i you know i i'm in a position now where you know i've pitched for a while that um you know i have some answers but not all of them or at least some experiences that i could share and you know so um but i've always i've always thought that that's part of your job um and i i think it's just you know it's just kind of getting a little magnified now that we're now that i'm in new york